My name is Marshall Ward and I'm a teacher here at Nantucket High School. I teach chemistry. Chemistry is notoriously one of the most difficult subjects and a lot of students struggle with that. In all honesty, um, I don't care if they learn chemistry or not. I want them to learn how to learn. I want them to learn how to ask questions and look at problems and take them apart and apply the knowledge that they have. And I try to emphasize that with them. Go read your cereal boxes. Go read anything. You'll see chemistry all throughout it. Uh, look at all the hair products you use or anything. You'll see chemistry. What is that stuff? Where did it come from? How are we making it? Why are we making it? I love seeing that spark in their eyes when something connects and they get it. And it's really exciting for me. And I'm usually learning something alongside them as well. I enjoy learning and did not, up until just a few years ago, really know what I wanted to do with all the learning that I've done. Went to Brigham Young University and freshman year signed up for a bunch of chemistry microbiology classes because at that time I was going to be a doctor. I told everybody as a kid, what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a doctor. I didn't really know what that meant. Got myself into a uh, upper level course of microbiology and got slammed. And I worked so hard and barely got out of there with a C minus. And my hopes and dreams of being a doctor were shattered. Um, I thought I just didn't get science. It was too hard. It was outside my thinking. I was doing great in my history and English classes, so I thought, well, let's keep doing a good thing. And I was very fortunate to get um, a professor, Dr. Carey, who uh, taught history, and he was amazing. And he had such a passion for learning, and he knew everything. And you could ask him things, and he would just tie it directly right into your life, and he'd show you how this affected you here and now, and the importance of, of learning and understanding uh, complex ideas. And that just opened my mind and heart like I've never been open before and I crave to learn more. I crave to understand more about the world around me and so I just started taking all sorts of classes. I actually graduated with 220 credits from college because I couldn't stop taking classes. Not really knowing what I wanted to do afterward. I had no idea <laughs> what next. I never thought about the what next for all my learning. I never thought, all right, apply it. What are you going to go do uh, with this book learning and writing that you've accomplished? And so in the back of my mind still, I had that idea, doctor, 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 a person who can learn the rest of their life and help and apply, immediately apply what they learn to other people. So I talked to Kirsten, my wife, a lot about it. and. She was brave enough to let me go back to school. Uh, I don't know why anybody would let me go back to school since I love it so much. I just get lost there. I took a bunch of classes and just had so much fun in the labs and science. It, I just was reawakened again towards my love of science. I'm interested mostly in general practitioner medicine and internal medicine. And definitely looking forward to the next four years of medical school and just being a student again, but also being able to every day directly apply that uh, knowledge uh, towards people and reassuring them, calming them, and helping them.